Hey guys, welcome back to the review and my name is Primal and thanks for watching another episode on my channel and today we're going to talk about Treadstone. That's the first episode of the series and it just recently came out and we're, I'm, well I'm really excited to see what it's all about. If you haven't watched it yet, stop what you're doing and watch it first so you know what we're talking about and not only that, I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So with that said, let's get into it. So first episode or the first scene we get to see is in based in 1973 where we get to see a soldier who looks like he's being tortured and somehow being brainwashed and you got a doctor who's explaining what kind of medication he's putting in him to give him this you know brainwashing ability to do things that he's not supposed to be doing like a normal soldier would which is basically killing his friends which he gets triggered by a lullaby that this Russian woman gets to, you know, talk to him and sings to him and then he's, boom, like that, into the world of, uh, like, I guess from another scene or another, I'm sorry, another country in a war and he sees enemies and he shoots them. So he's not even knowing what he's doing at the moment he's being triggered. And you get to see a little bit more about, you kind of, or you get the feeling uh, throughout the episode that they know each other this Russian woman and the soldier who is one of the main characters it seems like and you get to see where their relationship heads so I don't know if in the story or in the series we're gonna get some more information as to what their relationship was prior to him being locked in a chair and whatnot but we'll soon find out there's nine episodes left so we'll see how it is but you get to see a really cool fight scene among them. They really just basically kick ass and also, you know, just just kill each other, try to kill each other. And uh, one chops off a finger and things like that. So it's it's not a bad show so far. Um, I'm a little I'm thinking this is going to be more of an origin story to some degree as to how origin got developed. And that's probably the reason why they're having the 1973 flashback. So you get to see where Treadstone started and who was involved with it. And then later on you get to see what they have done with it. So I just don't know how this character is going to be related throughout the series. Or you know if he's going to continue on or he's just going to be here for the one season. I don't know what the writers you know be using him for. But we'll figure it out as we go. So another thing. Once we find out where the soldier goes and he gets backtracked to his his safe house and things of that sort as the episode progresses we also get to see a glimpse of where the present day storyline gets told so another thing we get to see is or gets to hear is doctor basically talking about cicadas basically referring to the sleeper agents as cicada bugs and in the description cicadas are ones that burrow in the, the earth and sleep until they are awoken to do a task before they die. Very much similar to a locust apparently, but very different, but that's off topic. But that's something that we're gonna be hearing a lot is the cicadas. I ima imagine there's more cicadas that are sleeping, and not the ones that we're gonna talk about today, but others that are gonna probably fight the ones that are trying to make or understand what's going on with them because they don't know what's going on. So with that being said, that's what leads us into present day. And present day is also showing us the first scene as far as the CIA uh, trying to speak to a North Korean general who is basically in the impression that he's gonna defect, but only wants to speak to one person. And that person is a reporter played by Tracy and is basically the one who tried to cover up some type of conspiracy that Russia was having a secret rocket or nuclear weapon pointed at the US and he and she tried to let people know about it but there was no credibility apparently no facts and the publisher denounced her credibility and she lost her job and she hasn't gone back to being a reporter again and works as a cab driver so they're trying to get her to help the CIA to talk to the general and find out what's going on and we get to find out that the general reason picking her because no one knew anything about her is because of that particular story 
is that she's always going to go seeking the truth no matter what and that's what he wants to do is to make sure that everything gets publicized and also she tries to help his daughter and she basically has to find out what Treadstone briefly is about doesn't know the details just knows that they are waking people or waking the cicadas up to do that so she doesn't know what that's all about and we'll find out more throughout the season if she's gonna be told what it is or how it's being told and stuff like that but with that being said she uh, she doesn't have a big role in this particular episode we get to find out the next person on the list which is basically the the Asian woman uh, played by um, Hajo and again I'm sorry for the pronunciation but uh, you get to see her as a piano teacher and she doesn't remember anything she has a life she has a husband she has a kid and her son somehow finds a it looks like an old Game Boy and when she tried to turn it on she heard the lullaby that the soldier heard that triggered him to fight you know and to recover a little bit of his memories and she remembered what she was trained to do in the first place and at that particular moment she didn't do anything when she heard it because of the fact that she had guests over and guests that were in the military and things like that and I guess we'll find out more stories about where the the husband works and what he does and how it relates to you know her present day right now but with that being said you know she goes to on her next session piano session with her student and once she has a time to f get away from that that student for a bit she basically goes from on top of the roof to a cable that goes from one roof to the next building next door where the general is located and that's where she's getting ordered to do is to kill this general and you get an idea that it's the general prior to the episode or to the scene just because of the fact that you see soldiers outside and things of that sort so you kind of realize that that was going to be taking place and when she and she climbs on this rope which i found was weird because the rope she's dragging herself along the the thing and there's no streak marks on her shirt so i thought that was a little weird and not only that when she gets off the rope she has to jump a huge distance away from the ground from the rope so how is she going to get back to go get her story back and be with the student and everything and supposedly she does this all under like six or seven minutes because the kids playing Mozart and that those songs are pretty long so she's able to do this in within seven minutes or so and um, she sees the general and the general is basically saying oh I'm, I'm not surprised he didn't send you so he knew who she was per, before she even knew getting inside the room to kill him and she realizes then also she speaks English and she didn't realize that before before she never knew that she speaks English and it gives the impression based on what the general said that she was woken up from her her sleep in the cicada form or so to speak um, prematurely like no one did the proper steps to show or teach her what she was supposed to do so she can't remember much of her past wow. memories but she remembers her her fighting abilities and her skills and things of that sort and they fight it out and she was gonna kill him uh, in a certain way and she didn't she used her, her surrounding areas and that's what brings the life of Jason Bourne to this is the fact that they use everything and anything around them to, to their disposal to fight and to kill just like we've seen in all the Jason Bourne movies which I love the aspect of bringing that into the show another thing we're talking about once they, that ended was the next character which is played by uh, Brian J. Smith and he is shown to be in a uh, an oil rig and he's working in the oil rig and finds out news later on in that scene that he's losing his job and he can't support his family basically so he gets uh, he wants to unwind so goes to a town and drinks some beers and sees that these people who basically stole his jobs are, which are the Russians and uh, basically gets in an altercation with them and was losing the, the fight and then something popped in his head and he's like I'm gonna kick this guy's ass <laughs> and uh, he learned he remembers all the skills that he had to fight people 
he basically took on five people at this almost at the same time and just annihilated them breaking their arms their legs putting on choker holes so you i mean you name it they, he did it and you get to see that level of skill that they're bringing into the show which is more the skills back into from the movies into the show and i like that aspect behind it and then you get to see how he gets transformed or woken up from cicada or the cicada form i should say and um remembers a little bit somewhat of his past life not to a degree because we don't know that yet and probably in the next episode we'll see that but we do get to see a little bit uh that he gets you know puzzled and basically goes to sleep uh because the lady he he met just met at the bar who was there for i guess false pretenses sang the lullaby and uh he started i guess got into this mode where he's just zoned out and he can't remember anything and next scene we see is him in this in the middle of nowhere in the snow with a bag next to him and he doesn't know what to do so he's just running away so i didn't know how he was gonna be based on the last video i said that he was only in one episode because the research i was able to find was that he was in one or announced in one episode so now i get to see that he's gonna be in another sh episode and probably throughout the series and that was just falsely uh, written down into the research so i'm uh, sorry for the confusion on that but he is going to be looking like a, a main character throughout the show and I'm excited to see what the show is going to bring. Lastly, uh, we're going to talk about where the kind of the episode also ended, which was also an, an introducing of a new character because we didn't see who who these are. They're basically Russian couple in the middle of nowhere. We don't know what they're doing, what the reason for them, why do we have them here? You know, you don't get to see that when you first get introduced. And there's an old man who basically, he he can't hear anything, gets a box with a hearing aid. He's trying to have a good time with his, his lady. And they're trying to have a, a dance and she's getting happy and he gets to hear like a buzzing noise in his hearing aid, which he determines is coming from a barn. And his wife doesn't want him to see it. So basically it takes the hearing aid away which made it weird but you know at that pr at the moment you're seeing this you're like why did, they, did he do she do that but anyways you don't get to see what it is until later on where he decides to get his hearing aid back sneak into that barn finds out there's some type of hidden compartment underneath the barn and basically the wife knew about it and the wife went down there and says that's why i try to warn you and kills him in this area which we later then find out in the episode that it is the silo for the stiletto 6 rocket which is the rocket that is going to be used to point directly towards the united states so we get to see what that woman is there and on top of that we get to find out who that woman is right there in that episode because in the first scene with the the young man and the russian woman he chopped off one of her fingers and with that they ended the scene with pointing to her hand and showing that she was missing one pinky finger so therefore you can assume that this lady is the same lady back in 1973 and you get to see where she ended up i guess like in present day i should say and she still works for the russian government and is holding on to something very top secret and is there for her country at least as right now so we don't know what this is going to be, but we're soon, I guess we'll find out in the next nine episodes to see what it is. So thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate you taking the time to, to watch this show, watch this episode. I'm going to try to do this every single week to talk about every episode as we go along and see what changes happened from last week to this week and see if we can figure out and predict what next episode is going to be like. So... Thank you guys for watching again. Really appreciate your time. Please hit that like button below. Please leave a comment also. We can have a conversation about it. Please subscribe to my channel for new content and for the next episode of Treadstone that I will be putting out soon. So thanks for watching guys and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.